I'm not even going to start. I got to finish this raw report. You want to start? talk about you want to talk about everybody having an undefeated streak? Well, why don't we talk about Bianca, who's now apparently nine days away from being the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion of all time. When everybody is setting a record, it's meaningless. Okay? When nobody has an undefeated streak, then it's meaningful, which is what they had with Solo Sokoa, and they threw it all away on the Raw before WrestleMania to put over a guy who's already headlining the show who then goes on to lose. They shouldn't have done that. Is it the end of the world? I never said that. But when you have Bianca, longest reigning Raw Women's Champion, Roman Reigns, longest reigning champion of the modern era, Usos, longest reigning tag champ, Bianca, longest reigning women's champ, Gunther, longest reigning intercontinental champ, Charlotte, 14 time. None of, none of these mean anything because, in fact, everybody is setting a record. You said you don't need to make everybody Goldberg. They're not. They beat everybody, but who they didn't beat. For seven months was Solo Sokoa. So at Brian, that point, you can do... That's like arguing, ah, who cares who beats Goldberg? Or who beats, because uh, who beats at this Undertaker? Point in the game, who cares? At this point in the game, with the story that they're telling with Solo Sokoa, and obviously the, the direction they're going, they wanted to get it out of the way. You're acting as if, like, Gunther, to me, that taking a stupid L... Would have made, is far worse than Solo Sokoa losing his at this point when they obviously have a story to keep him strong and he lost to Cody Rhodes. And on top of it, they didn't hype the undefeated story. Yeah, they, they did. They talked all up. the time about how he was undefeated. But they, they talked all the time about how he was undefeated. But it was a thing that you ended for nothing. It doesn't matter. But what does that have to do with the fact that they have a bunch of champions who have had the belts for a long time either? So you're saying that takes away from Gunther and Roman Reigns' reigns? Well, I, yeah, kind of. It's like, who cares? Everybody's setting a record. Why is it special? Everybody is setting a record. If you have why a belt, is this an issue? other than it wasn't an issue, I brought it up and you made it an issue. That it doesn't yeah, matter I if you beat Solo. Issue. You, this is now two shows where you've brought it up to, like, you know, smack it around. Yet I'm bringing it up. Well, I'm just responding that it doesn't really matter in this case. You're trying it's to make it It's supposed to matter. That's the point. You could have made it matter. That's Dude. the point. Otherwise, you could have. Who cares? You get really upset when they don't tell the stories that you want them to tell. Why don't you again? Why don't you bring up Sami Zayn again and how you figured he should have gotten shouldn't have gotten beaten in Montreal? Who cares, Brian? Well, if you don't care about anything, then why are we even reviewing this show? The point is to care, to make people care, to make things meaningful. That's the whole point. But if, if everything about wrestling is non-meaningful, who cares? But people have different ideas and different stories that they want to tell, and they obviously have been doing that. Because they didn't do a Goldberg streak with Solo, they didn't lose a whole lot. I'm they sorry, went seven they months didn't. without beating him, do and now, ever since then... Up. Ever since then, they have continued to push that he is unbeatable. He's like the machine. He's like the guy that goes to get everything done for the bloodline. So, in fact, you are still trying to push him as unstoppable, even though you stopped him and you didn't mean to. You could have kept him unbeatable. In the eyes of WWE and you didn't. fans, do you think that they think that he's now a not an unstoppable monster anymore? I don't know. Should I do a poll? I don't know what they think. Sure. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. Boo. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.